Oh, everything in God's creation I was very much interested in. I was uh, raised in a science-minded family and uh, had very much of a love for uh, just the natural world. So I'd look at the sky and see the clouds. I'd look at the, the night sky and see the stars. Uh, I would look on the plants and animals and my own body and, and just uh, uh, know that there was something behind all this. I wasn't saved. Uh, I didn't know the Lord as my Savior at that time, but uh, I think probably everyone has feelings like that, especially as a child. So I had to put aside uh, science questions uh, at the time that I accepted Christ. I was a grad student uh, in physics, and uh, I and my wife were living out in Colorado because uh, I was doing my dissertation work on cosmic rays on a nearby mountain. Uh, and uh, she was saved before I was, and uh, we were going to a, a church that she wanted to go to, the Dillon Community Church, in, uh, high up in the mountains of Colorado. And uh, some of uh, the pastors of that church, uh, uh, when they found out that I was an atheist, uh, I professed to be an atheist, and uh, only a corner of my mind knew that God existed. Um, at any rate, they gave a, a good uh, mini-week Bible study in our home. Uh, so uh, after a while, I knew all the basic teachings of Scripture very well. Uh, they did a good job on that. And unknown to me, the church was praying for me, my wife was praying for me, and they were praying for me. And out in the middle of the woods, uh, near a town called Frisco, uh, where I was doing my daily run, I had this strong feeling that if I didn't give up uh, and accept Christ as my Savior, I was going to miss out on something really big. And I'd been taught that uh, the Holy Spirit will come and indwell you. And I had read that. I had, you know, prior to this, I had been reading in the Gospel of Mark because I thought that was the oldest gospel. Uh, and I had asked God if he uh, had anything to do with it to convince me of its truth. I got convinced of its truth, but didn't act on it. I didn't obey it. Uh, so for a while I was quite miserable. And then out in these woods, I finally gave up and asked Christ into my life. Uh, what I actually said was, okay, come on in, because I was wanting the Holy Spirit to, to move into my life and, and run it. And uh, so things started changing from that point on. So, but I had to set aside science questions there. The people who were working with me uh, would answer my origins questions uh, and say, well, here's what the Bible says about that. Now let's get back to the Gospel of John or something, you know. So they, they, didn't, they weren't really able to answer the science questions, and I just had to kind of set those aside. But uh, what I'd been taught about evolution in billions of years was a hindrance to me. It was a stumbling block, and I had to actually just kind of put those aside. And I only got those answers later.